Conspiracy theories always attract a lot of attention. Nearly everyone believes their own version of them. From world control to top secret Cold War programs, these are 10 infamous conspiracy theories that will have you questioning what you believe. Number 10. The Roswell Crash no one disputes that something crashed on a remote ranch outside of Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. The government initially claimed that it was some type of saucer, but then retracted the statement and said that it was a weather balloon. The best evidence suggests that it was a top secret military balloon referred to as Project Mogul. A description of the wreckage matches photos of Project Mogul balloons, including a silver finish and strange symbols. Decades later, stories about alien bodies surfaced and conspiracy theorists claimed that the crash involved aliens. This conveniently coincided with the release of a book called The Roswell Incident in 1980. Although there was a cover-up, rather than hiding an alien ship, the government was actually hiding a Cold War era spy program. Number 9. John F. Kennedy's Assassination John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1963 during a Dallas motorcade. Since that tragic day, many have wondered who killed Kennedy. It has been concluded by the Warren Commission, FBI, Secret Service, and Dallas Police Department that Lee Harvey Oswald assassinated Kennedy and acted alone. Despite extensive evidence supporting the official findings, public opinion polls have consistently shown that many Americans do not believe the official story. The assassination has spawned various conspiracy theories that have resulted in hundreds of books, articles, and films. Conspiracy theorists question who helped Oswald and who gave him the orders. A 1979 report by the House Select Committee on Assassinations suggested that there was in fact a conspiracy and that it was likely more than one shooter. Do you think Oswald was the brains of the operation and worked alone? Number 8. Princess Diana's Murder Princess Diana tragically died on August 31st, 1997 in a Paris highway tunnel. Within hours, conspiracy theories swirled. The idea that such a beloved, high-profile figure could be killed was shocking worldwide. This was especially true for Princess Diana. She was the world's princess. The conspiracy theory was promoted by Mohammed Al-Fayed, the billionaire father of Dodi Al-Fayed, who was killed with Diana. He claims that the accident was in fact an assassination by British intelligence agencies, requested by the royal family. Al-Fayed's claims were examined and dismissed as baseless in 2006. The next year, the coroner's jury concluded that Diana and Al-Fayed were illegally killed due to negligence by their drunken chauffeur and paparazzi. Number 7. Chemtrails some people claim that long-lasting condensation trails left by airplanes consist of chemical or biological agents that are sprayed for nefarious purposes, undisclosed to the general public. They say that while normal trails dissipate quickly, those that linger longer and often form persistent X-shaped grids over large areas must contain additional substances. Why would the world's governments jettison vast quantities of chemicals into the stratosphere? They speculate the purpose of the chemicals, which they call chemtrails, may be an attempt to manipulate the human population, control global warming, and even test military weapons. They also claim the chemtrails are to blame for health problems and respiratory illnesses. Number 6. The Apollo Moon Landing In the 1978 film Capricorn 1, NASA and American astronauts faked landing on Mars. Although the film itself was mediocre, it sparked the idea of falsely leading the masses to believe things that we hadn't truly accomplished. In 2001, Fox aired the television program Conspiracy Theory? Did We Land on the Moon? which discredited discrepancies between the official version of the moon landing and photographs of the landing. Since the initial moon landing, there have been constant conspiracy theories that the whole thing was fake. However, there have been five additional U.S. visits to the moon, with some involving up to a dozen astronauts. Hundreds of pounds of rocks from the moon have been collected, studied, and verified. Some astronauts have taken offense at the insinuation that their accomplishments are not real. In 2002, conspiracy theorist Bart Sabrell confronted Buzz Aldrin, calling him a coward and a liar for faking the moon landings. 72-year-old Buzz responded by punching Sabrell in the jaw. Number 5. The Denver International Airport The Denver International Airport is huge. 
It's twice the size of Manhattan, New York. Almost every corner of the massive hub is filled with conspiracy theories. For example, the airport was $2 billion over budget, leading some to believe it has an underground structure that's used as bunkers, or the headquarters of the world-controlling group known as the Illuminati. Others believe it was built by neo-Nazis because markers and plaques around the airport reference funding by the New World Airport Commission, but no information can be found about the organization anywhere. Some say the runways are designed to look like a swastika when viewed from above. Art around the airport is also a cause for concern for some. Murals around the airport include images of a Nazi officer in a gas mask, the devil jumping out of a suitcase, and children near a burning building. Number 4. Big Pharma Drug companies do not have many fans. Most people feel that drugs cost way too much and that the profits that drug companies make are way too extreme. It's little wonder that the global pharmaceutical industry, known as Big Pharma, is looked upon with a high level of suspicion. Some proponents of alternative medicine believe that drug companies operate for sinister purposes against the public good, conspiring to keep people sick so they can reap profits. For example, Kevin Trudeau, the best-selling author of Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About, claims that important medical information is kept hidden by a conspiracy between the medical establishment and big drug companies. He states, There are certain groups, including the drug industry, that don't want people to know about cures for diseases. Do you believe that drug companies are putting profit over people? Number 3. Satanic Cults Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, an abundance of child abuse cases horrified America. Children accused adults of ritual rapes, torture, and abuse. The news media reported sensational stories which often included charges of Satanism. Geraldo Rivera's infamous NBC special, Devil Worship, Exposing Satan's Underground, aired on October 28, 1988 bringing a lot of attention to the topic. Rivera relied on Satanism experts, misleading and inaccurate statistics, crimes with very weak links to Satanism, and sensationalized media reports. In the special, which was the largest viewership for a documentary in television history, Rivera claimed that a highly organized satanic conspiracy was at work killing babies and conducting extremely disturbing rituals. There are over one million Satanists in this country, Rivera said, adding, the odds are they are in your town. Rivera presented absolutely no proof, and the lack of evidence was seen as proof of how well organized the satanic conspiracy truly was. A 1992 report on ritual crime by FBI agent Kenneth Lanning concluded that the rumors of ritual murders, cannibalism, and kidnapping were unfounded. Philip Stevens Jr., associate professor of anthropology at the State University of New York at Buffalo, said that the popular allegations of crimes by Satanists constitute the greatest hoax perpetuated upon American people in the 20th century. Number 2. World Domination For over a hundred years, patterns of conspiracy theories have popped up with the same basic premise. Since the 1700s, there have been references to the Illuminati, a secret society seeking to control the world, pulling strings from behind the scenes. In 1905, a book was written about a small, powerful group of Jews seeking to achieve world domination. Henry Ford was so eager to bring visibility to this topic that he paid to publish half a million copies of The Protocols of the Elders of Zion. In the 1930s, this book was used by the Nazis as justification for its genocide against Jews, with Adolf Hitler referring to the protocols in his book Mein Kampf. The modern version of this conspiracy emerged after President Donald Trump took office. It involves an evil cabal of Hollywood celebs and liberal politicians who are Satan-worshipping, cannibalistic pedophiles seeking to control the world. They claim a secret government source who calls himself Q and leaves cryptic comments on the website 4chan is gathering a patriot army to support President Trump, who they see as a genius sent by God to defeat the evil cabal and usher in a new age of love. This has become dangerous, with people taking what they consider justice into their own hands, including shootings and extensive forest fires resulting in multiple deaths. Q 
QAnon has become so popular in American politics that Congress is now debating a bipartisan bill to condemn it. The QAnon cult has proven popular with the far right and New Age influencers, similar to how Nazism emerged from nationalist, anti-democratic, and racist myths. Number 1. 9-11 There is no doubt that the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 were the result of a conspiracy. A close look at the evidence shows how carefully planned and executed the plan was by a network of conspirators. The question that remains is who those conspirators were. Osama bin Laden and his crew of Saudi hijackers were definitely part of this conspiracy. But what about President Bush and Vice President Dick Cheney? Did top Bush advisors, including Donald Rumsfeld, collaborate with bin Laden or allow the attacks to happen? Conspiracy theorists believe this to be true and point to a catalog of inconsistencies with the official story of the attacks. Many of the conspiracy claims were debunked by Popular Mechanics magazine in March of 2005. Others are refuted by simple logic. Was 9-11 an inside job? Let us know in the comments below. Is there a compelling conspiracy theory that you'd like to share? Tell us about it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. New content is posted every week. Until next time, thanks for watching Best Top 5s.